All right. Our uh, next presentation is for the uh, 2015 Worldcon Sasquan in Spokane. And I'll uh, hand the uh, microphone to. Kevin? Uh, yes? Are we on the five minute time limit now? I would like to ask that presentations be uh, kept to five minutes for because uh, we want to get through we a number of people. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll hold off. Okay. Uh, hold back here. You don't have any AV here. No. All right. no. And uh, so, uh, Sally, yeah. and, uh, I'll start. Uh, inter and introduce your people here. And, we'll take, and I will let you sort of leave this discussion because you have all the space. So. Okay. Okay. I'm Sally Worley. Okay, I'm Sally Worley. I'm closer. 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 Um, I'm the co-chair, if we still have Bobby Defoe as an in memorial co-chair to this. Susquehanna will be held August 29th through 23rd, I mean 19th to 23rd, I can't read my writing, which is a Wednesday through Sunday convention. Um, again, our, uh, just for your information, if you don't remember, our, our guests of honor are Brad Foster, David Gerald, Vonda McIntyre, Tom Smith, and Leslie Turek. Um, our front of the house, as we were calling his section, person Pierre is not here. So he gave us a rundown of what his division is doing for um, their everything that you will see as a, a member at the, the Brocon. Their programming is coming along fine. However, then they have gotten, we have three theme nights so far from programming and events on the first night, of course, we will have first night, which is Wednesday night. Thursday night, they're going to do a Discworld and steampunk theme. And Saturday is uh, super science. For people who have been asking online and all weekend here, the dealer's room and art show will be open for people to register. Are going to ask for tables and such after Labor Day. The um, hotel reservations, get a little bit ahead of you, Mike, will be open about the same time. Mike Wilmoth, who is uh, chairman for the back of the house, I'll let, I'll let him tell you about what his division is doing. Thanks, Sally. Um, we've got four hotels contracted with over a thousand room nights on the peak nights. They will be open for reservations in mid-September. Uh, we're planning to open on September 16th after a couple weeks of the staff doing a shakedown cruise. We're using a housing bureau so everything will be consolidated. So you go to one site, you can pick whatever hotel you want and your room uh, configurations of your preference. So again, that'll be September 16th and all four hotels that are contracted uh, will be in the housing bureau. Um, we're, uh, we're moving forward on an addendum for the convention center to get additional space that's currently not in the contract. Uh, we're finalizing that right now. And um, otherwise, we're also working on an addendum for function space at the Doubletree for some events there. Most of the, most everything will be at the convention center, including con suite and staff lounge will be in the Doubletree, which is attached. And then the party hotel will be the Davenport because it's got the most suites and it's the really nice hotel. And that's about seven tenths of a mile southwest of the convention center. And we're working on an RFP for shuttles, but I have no details at this time. But we're working through the Convention and Visitors Bureau to get that. And the CVB is also handling the Housing Bureau for us. And um, we hope to have a URL for testing so you can play with it prior to that, and for people who are going to London for Worldcon this year, the CVB will have reps available to demonstrate the Housing Bureau system so that you can see how it works in person, and for those who don't go, we'll have the testing system. I think that's it. Uh, Glenn is the other uh, vice chair over the business and finance, and he's next. Thank you, Mike. So first off, some membership numbers. Uh, we have uh, 1,257 attending, 45 child, uh, 9 kid and toe, uh, 915 supporting, 19 white, uh, young, young adults, so that makes 2,257 current members 
Uh, the membership rate for a full attending membership for an adult is $170. That will go up to $190 after Shamrock Con, which is the weekend after Long Con. So, you know, if you're either at Long Con or Shamrock Con or here, uh, you can take advantage of the uh, current membership rate. Um, uh, there's also a payment plan. We accept uh, uh, payment plans which start at a supporting membership. So you buy a supporting membership and then we let you pay as you go on your own schedule. So you'll never have less than a supporting membership, but you may have more, right? And eventually you can pay off it at whatever rate you want. We will accept it, you know, you know, $20 at a time or whatever, you know, suits your budget. We also have a family plan, which is $425, which is a significant discount off of two adults and two children. And if you have more than two children, it gets even better than that. So. Uh, just make sure they're your children. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the only other thing I'd like to add just really briefly about something that um, Sally mentioned about first night, which is that weather permitting, we're actually going to do first night in the park along the river. Okay, and we're working on, on, on doing a, a magnificent um, uh, uh, outdoor uh, extravaganza with um, uh, the beautiful Skokam weather and scenery. So uh, it, it actually looks like it's going to be something really unique. Uh, questions? Uh, yeah, we, you know, we have a brief amount of time for questions. Just one or two here. Okay, we'll take that. Um, where will late night programming be? Talking, gaming, uh, any late night panels available? Uh, right now, the plan is to do programming in the convention center and the Double Tree. So gaming is currently slated for the Double Tree. Um, I know that programming is mostly in the convention center right now. And the double tree is attached to the convention center. Right, so double tree is attached to the convention center. Yeah, but that's still half a mile from the Davenport, which is the party hotel. It's seven tenths of a mile from the Davenport, which is the party hotel. Again, the Davenport has the bulk of the parties and is the nicer hotel, but they also have higher rates on their function space, and we're having to balance what we want to do with being able to afford to do it. I think we have time for one more question. Maybe. Do party suite bookings open the same time as general hotel bookings? Do party suite bookings open the same time as hotel bookings? If you want a, to do a party, you need to send an email to parties at sasquan.org. And you can do that at any time. Uh, if you want to book a suite, then you have to do so through the convention, not through the housing bureau. And that'll be an email that isn't available yet but we'll set it up, and it's called Suites at sasquan.org. But the very first thing you have to do, whether you want a party or a suite, or a party in a suite, is to make a hotel reservation through the Housing Bureau. But you can be on the party request at any time. And the same thing holds for the suites. Well, I, I, I'm, we, We're being it, cut I'm afraid I have to cut you off because we have a lot of other people in a short time. They, a lot of these questions can be addressed to them at their table. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.